was in the barn. Did he find it? No. It was like he was drawn to it. He may look like us. He's not like us. Hi everyone, Vegas from Critic here, Jeffrey Coward, here to review Brightburn, starring Elizabeth Banks, David Denham, uh, Jackson A. Dunn, uh, and directed by, I'm gonna get his name right, David Yaroveski, written by Brian and Mark Gunn, executive producer James Gunn from Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, you know I always have that one film during the summer, or a handful of films, that you are waiting to see, that you can't wait, you know, that short list, and Brightburn was one of them for me. And again, because it takes a well-known story and perverts it. Uh, maybe that's not the right word, but that's how I like to say it. it perverts the story. It changes it from what we all know and love into something really disturbing. And there's this new genre that's appearing. It's superhero, evil superhero genre, you know. So Brightburn, simple premise, uh, this family, this farm family in the middle of uh, Brightburn, Kansas, one night a spaceship falls from the sky and there's a little boy, a baby, uh, that they adopt. Does that sound familiar? Right, Superman. And so the movie kind of fast forwards to when he's about 12 years old, having his birthday, starting to go through puberty, that spaceship in the barn that's buried underneath keeps calling him. You know, whatever weird language, whatever signals it's sending, all of a sudden the kid goes in these different trances and all these different kind of, his behavior starts changing radically uh, to the worst. And uh, what's weird about this movie is that I, I wanted to love it more than I did, and I'm trying to figure out what happened, because a lot of this movie just lays there like an egg. You know, when you watch the trailer, when you hear about the premise, you know, and when you, uh, uh, Jackson A. Dunn, who's playing the, uh, just fantastic as the kid who goes through all these different emotions, Elizabeth Banks, uh, as the mother who can see no wrong in her son, and when her husband's like, this kid's an alien, he's killing people, what, what is wrong with you? And she's like, oh, he's my son, and it's like, she's so kind of misguided and blinded because her, her devotion to her son, because she couldn't have children, this is her, you know, flesh and blood, and the husband's like, it's not. So, as I'm sitting there watching this movie, I'm thinking, well, wait a minute, why isn't this working? And I think mostly because I wanted more about the kids' growing pains, or more about him at school, about being bullied. I think we needed more, before he turns into a super evil super, super boy, we needed more backstory with him. Because once it started, then it just, it got old really quick. You know, the, it, it, him in his little outfit and his, it just didn't, it didn't work after a while. And you just, you need more than him just being the evil Superboy. You know, you needed more of a foundation, I think. This is my opinion. Trust me, I thought about this movie for like a week or two, trying to figure out why didn't I come away loving it? And also, you know, audiences, I see what they say and read reviews. So I just, I, there's, there's something missing in this premise. And I think it was more backstory about the family element and not just him, you know, eventually becoming this evil Superboy and killing people and destroying stuff. He even has a Cloverfield kind of ending that was kind of bizarre on it, too. So, uh, I, you know, overall, the movie, I'm mixed on it. And I'm trying to figure out, it's more negative than positive, and I hate saying that, because, you know, we've got the Gunn brothers who wrote it, and James Gunn, executive producer, you know, from, from Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, I want to see it again. When it comes out on video, or it comes on cable, I'll, I'll give it a second viewing. Uh, but overall, I'm just trying to figure out why I didn't love this movie. I mean, I love the trailer, love the idea behind it, but I just came out thinking, just kind of laid there, and you know, it's kind of like, eh. All right, for more reviews and interviews, just surf on over to my website, VegasFromCritic.com. Check me out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you give me a comment below of what you thought of Brightburn. What, what am I missing? You know, I, I'm trying to figure this out. It's driving me crazy. I hate a movie I come out of and I can't, you know, discuss it intelligently and, and, and convey my feelings on why a film didn't work. And this was a big, this was stumped my head. It really did. Uh, also, make sure you subscribe on my YouTube channel. I'm Jeffrey Gay Howard in Las Vegas. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.